now more than ever is a time to focus and to really kind of d- dig into the financials and to really dig into the, where the opportunities are, go- are going to be and put yourself in a position to succeed. Yes, but is it time to invest in a bigger machine and get into debt? Um, you need to be, uh, you know, mindful of what your financial cap- capabilities are. Um, however, because of the fact that banks are easing credit and it's easier to get credit, um, that's what credit is there for, right? Um, so that you don't have to pay everything up front and be able to gener- save that cash flow and maintain and grow your business while saving that cash and um, reinvesting it back into the business and just making a, a minimal uh, monthly payment at no interest for the machine that you're getting. I've gotten a lot more responses uh, via email from a lot of our um, customers and from uh, different prospects that are looking at um, different machines of ours that they are uh, they're revisiting the market actually for buying a machine. I recently just had a about a 30 minute phone call with with a customer out in California. I mean, obviously they're in the lockdown lockdown situation, Um, but he actually proactively reached out, basically says like, hey, you know, the banks are easing now. I saw I saw your email. Now is the time to really kind of, you know, get credit on this. It's easier to get credit, right? And I said, yeah, uh, absolutely, right? Obviously you still gotta make the monthly payments. You gotta, you know, but he has other businesses, for example, um, you know, embroidery is now his only line of business. He has other businesses that are able to generate those cash flow, and he has like a like a landscaping business and um, and 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 a, and a uh, you know some other lines of, of, of businesses that are able to generate some cash flow. And so, but people are asking him for embroidery that he usually just subbed out. So now more than ever, he's trying to maybe keep some of that margin and keep some of that customers. And actually one funny thing that he told me was actually, he stopped subbing his embroidery out because people were stealing his customers, right? That you sub out the order and then, and then the customer knows that, oh, you can't do the embroidery, you're subbing it out to someone else. And eventually they will just go directly to that person. So he's tr- looking at ways to kind of bring that in house and keep that revenue. And more importantly, keep that customer. So he, right now he's actually, he's actually telling customers that, um, I can't do embroidery so that he, he doesn't even want to lose the customer to someone else because, you know, he doesn't want to tell someone that he can and then sub it out and then eventually have that customer in the long run go to that go to that uh, um, other person that he's subbing out to. So he's actually coming back and mentioning, you know, now's, now's the time that he just got a new truck because of the, of the credit easing. He's looking at a border machine to bring this in house so that he doesn't have to outsource those orders and perhaps keep his business running because there's still demand. There's still people asking for custom apparel orders. I think custom apparel and the apparel and fashion industry in, in, in general, I think it's less susceptible to a um, recession or an economic downturn because of the fact, let's face it, everyone is still going to wear clothes, right? This, it's not that people are not going to buy buy clothes anymore. Um, I mean, if that if people all of a sudden stop wearing clothes, I would be very very surprised. You know, there's this is there's an ongoing demand for for apparel. Um, it, it, it you know because of the overall economic situation or the overall um, uh, um, kind of uh, atmosphere or the or the or the sentiment from consumers, it might take a little dip, but it's not going to get hit like the services industry. Like if you're a restaurant or if you're in, in the services business or in the in the retail business, yeah, those are going to get hit a lot more because of the current situation, because of the lockdowns and people not going out and staying in, in their homes. But with apparel, people still wear clothes, even if you're you know in, in your house and, and businesses will still need some sort of branding and uniforms and, and custom apparel for their staff eventually, right? So that demand is gonna be always there. And so I wouldn't, I would look at this as, as a silver lining and the, and the fact that this is not you know as sensitive to kind of overall economic situation um, as other industries are. So that is something positive to take away and that should be driving your mindset in thinking about how you can you know, capitalize and, and on those opportunities and where to seek out opportunities that, that weren't there before or when other competitors are scaling back in your area. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm closing my embroidery shop. I'm, I'm, I'm shutting everything down. Now you might be the only game in town. You might be the only supplier of custom, uh, custom apparel 
in, in within within your town or within your county. And that's an opportunity that you should be you should be looking out for. But it takes the right kind of digging and the and now more than ever is the time to focus and to really kind of d- dig into the financials and to really dig into the where the opportunities are go- are going to be and put yourself in a position to succeed.